Hi there, so uh, I've, I've had a request that I do some more Robot Wars videos. I know there seems to be quite a lot going on this channel, but I do genuinely love Robot Wars, uh, as you can probably tell. Uh, the reviews for the episodes I've got really behind on, um, so I'll try and finish them off if I can. Um, if not, I may just do a, a series overview best episode, and I think that's how I'll probably review the rest of... Like something like series three or series ten, I think it's series ten. Yeah, the tenth wars, um, something like that. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, um, this video is called um, "Buying, Building, and Troubleshooting." So I'm going to actually do that in the complete reverse order. So uh, troubleshooting some of the old robots that I built, um, and for the purposes of putting them up against, um the pullbacks the some of the lego uh, robots that i've built have had upgrades uh, to make them bigger and better something like uh, this one which was um, furious george uh, which you may remember as one of the house robots is now valhalla 2 um, which is an, a competitor robot because it's in the same scale as a um, normal pullback robot so that's uh, an update. Reaper has also had an update. I can't remember whether this was Reaper to start with or not. But anyway, as you can see, it's it's been updated. It's a lot chunkier now. There's a lot more going on underneath it. Uh, the wheels don't come off. I've troubleshooted this one. So um, the wheels were the worst part about the robot. So I've fixed them um, and given the axe something else on top uh, just to hold this back panel on. As you can see, there's some design work there. You can sort of make out Reaper on each side. It's sort of faded, though. Um, permanent marker, not so permanent. Uh, the other one that I've troubleshooted... No, oh, there's another two, actually, that I've troubleshooted. Um, Bulldozer has had a complete overhaul, and you'll notice there's a lot... a few more colours other than yellow, black, and grey. Um, it's now invertible as opposed to self-writable, but not really. The self writer was the worst bit. So it still goes uppity-up. It still comes down and down But if it's flipped over, it can adjust its weapon like that. And it becomes a sort of scoop with a, a mini lifter um, until it's flipped again. Whereupon it's that way up as well. Um, it's got a couple of side panels that are just anti-spinner armour. Um, and it's I've not done it as wheels that go like all the way round, so that it, you can find wheels poking out the bottom and the top. As opposed to that, it's a um, it's a completely different set of wheels. So I don't know if you can just see in there. You can see that there's two sets of wheels, one there and one uh, on the underside, um, which is the top. But yeah, that's that's how I've done it instead now. So I'm a lot happier with how it's looking. Though it's not a modular robot anymore, I think I prefer this because it sort of it's sleeker, it's nicer, and it sort of fits in a bit better. Um, last one then that I've troubleshooted is Big Flipper. Big Flipper was one of the ones that I, I specifically said had no nothing anything done to it, um, but I have added these second wheels that are cast wheels. Um, and this section here just sticks out that holds the flipper in place. But now when it drives along, it doesn't have to be like that on the floor and then go like that to self-right. Instead, it's it can stay up like that and then flip and come back down, all staying at the same level. Um, self-right is still the same, so that's that one. Okay, uh, building building next so I've built some out of cardboard I've built some out of Lego or one out of Lego so this is a shuriken shuriken being like a ninja throwing star which is what the weapon is as you can see here whoops so when I go to troubleshoot this one uh, that might be something however it is one of the design pieces of it um, so this has this front um, bit anti-spinner again it's a spiller killer uh, spinner killer sorry um this also lifts up as a sort of lifter flipper type thing 
It's got some decent side armor. I've just tested it against quite a heavy hitting uh, spinner and it, it held up wonderfully. Um, this was actually troubleshooted from another robot that never made it into the video because I did it after. Um, so I'm giving you the full works of this. Underneath you can see two wheels, two wheel drive. Um, now the spinner is designed to come off, uh, not in battle clearly, but this section then comes down and acts as a sort of lifter. So that's an additional feature. And another additional feature is it can also be a grabber. And another another additional um, thing is that that bit can come off completely and you've literally just got a wedge at the front as the weapon. So it's, uh, I, I, I think it's more of a sort of variabot, a, a sort of, it's got different weapons, interchangeable weaponry, but also not sort of interchangeable, it's, it's there full time. So that's Shuriken. Um, cardboard, uh, this is Shadow Cat. I designed this one as what robot would I enter into Robot Wars, and it's uh, Shadow Cat. It's got a lifter, very foxic like. The front is very Dan Tomkier, though, um, so that's the thing. And it, it, it lifts up like that, and I, I love it. It's great. It came out almost perfectly. Um, from what I built or what I designed to what I built. Now, there's a few design flaws that I'd made in the initial design which actually work better in the model than on the design. I've sprayed this so um, it's all black. Uh, it's, it's just a wonderful little lift of that. Love it. No motifs on it or anything. Uh, second one that I've made, this is the heavy hitting spinner. Uh, you know those fidget spinners, these things, these wonderful little things. Um, if you don't like them, buy padlocks. How to fix. Anyway, I built uh, and I bought a fidget spinner, and I bought two actually, uh, both for robots. Um, not the one you've just seen, that's for personal use. But this one is uh, a weapon, <laughs> and it's a pretty big weapon, and a pretty heavy hitting spinner uh, as you can see it doesn't quite run straight but it does do the weird thing where it doesn't actually flip over if you throw it in the air if it's flipped in the air uh, you can spin it and throw it without it flipping over so that's pretty cool um, it's not finished yet I've got to paint it up I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that but this is called Extremis um, the idea came from this week's episode of Doctor Who coming up, but that's not what this channel's about. Um, it, it's a, a Latin phrase which, when translated, means at the point of death. And I thought that was quite appropriate for this lovely large spinning blade. Very sort of carbide-esque in shape, but the blade is completely different, I assure you. And it's quite heavy as well. Uh, it does some damage. Um, speaking of carbide... Uh, I've used Votesaxon 07's designs once again to build Carbide, um, and here it is, Carbide. Really, really happy with how this came out. I edited some bits of the video that he did, I have had to add some bits, I added a bit on top because it looked weird with just a spike up there. Um, I've drawn the wheels on the top and bottom, though I forgot to rub out base from the bottom. So base is there permanently because I've taped it now. Um, Carbide is written across there, but I've added the yellow bits to the black bar, which is something that Votesax 07 did not do. So it's sort of a, a combo between Series 8 and Series 9 um, carbide. Somewhere in between there, I'd like to think this was a carbide, but really, really happy with how this came out, and it spins fine. Um, I did have some problems with it spinning, but it worked so it works now that's the main thing so I suppose I ought to get on to buying so I got finally the final um, the final what do you call it pullback and uh, it is really big cheese and here is really big cheese it was the last one I needed to get I got it second hand from toyswithyours.com really recommend them competitive prices for decent robots decent flipper on that really happy pullback motors absolutely fine um, as you can see here 
quite speedy. Um, there's, there's even rubber bits on it, which is just great. Attention to detail, superb. Um, yeah, so that's Wheelie Big Cheese. Last one I got, it's the uh, one of only three battle bots that have been sort of released in the same scale. Two of which were um, remote control, so can't really use them against these little deers without getting my hand all chopped up because it's Tombstone and Witch Doctor. Uh, I got the the clutch and clash, though I'm looking at ways of removing the clutch. Um, it's Bite Force, the uh, champion of the 2015 series, or 2016 if you were watching in the UK. You pull this back, the thing goes up. Anyway, um, I like it. It doesn't so much grab and lift because this top section doesn't come down like the actual battle bot. Instead, it sort of comes along and and flips. I mean, you can get it to hold them up in the air, but it doesn't really work. They just sort of flip out. So that's bitey bite force. Um, I've not wrecked it, by the way. It still works fine. Uh, but yeah, I wanted bite force because I think it's a shame that no international competitors have come into Robot Wars um, I half expect Minotaur to come across uh, to the UK, so that should be interesting. I've got one more build I'd like to do, and if I just reach behind the camera, uh, I can grab it. It's another fidget spinner, sorry. Um, but this is it. This is uh, a complete circle, but will be a horizontal, uh, vertical, I mix them up all the time, a vertical spinner. Just looking at ways of adding a tooth to it because otherwise it's not going to do that much damage, uh, only to the sort of cardboard models I've done. So this this will be another cardboard model um, like this one. Do do do. I didn't mention about this one. The inside is actually Lego. The the system here, Lego and glue, lots of glue, um, but it, it works fine, absolutely perfectly. In fact, there's not much shake in it. There was when I sort of used it a bit on uh, Reaper. I pulled apart Reaper with it, which is why I updated Reaper. Um, but yeah, it's vastly updated and seems to hold quite well. So anyway, this is a long video. Um, I've managed to talk for almost 12 minutes straight. In fact, over 12 minutes straight. So I'm going to let you go now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, and... Yeah, that's that's it. More robot wars coming soon. Yay!